Hello and welcome guys. So in this video, I'm going to make a machine learning model which will do a heart disease prediction. And I'm also going to test this model on different machine learning algorithm. I will also show you how we can choose the best machine learning algorithm for this model. And I will also calculate the accuracy of this model on different different machine learning algorithm. And we will choose that machine learning algorithm which is going to give a highest accuracy. Okay. So let's get started. So for this, I'm going to use the data set from Kaggle. So let's go to the Kaggle. So this is a heart failure prediction data set and the link is in the description. So let's uh, scroll down and see the data set. So it is heart.csv file. Okay, so what's the column? So let's go to the column. Okay, so these are the column of this data set. Age, sex, chest pain type, resting, blood pressure okay cholesterol so these are the parameter which will decide the heart disease okay so this is maximum heart rate achieved so this is exercised induced angina okay and this is old peak okay fine so th these are the features which will decide the heart disease okay so let's download this data set so when you download this data set it is something like this this is our dot csv file let's open this file and see Okay, so these are the parameter. This is age, this is sex, this is chest pain. Okay, so this is chest pain. This is resting BP. Okay, resting blood pressure. And what is that? And this is a uh, cholesterol. This is fasting blood sugar. And this is uh, something resting ECG. Okay, these are the parameter maximum heart rate. Okay, and this is exercise, uh, something like that okay exercise angina this is old peak and this is st underscore slope okay these are the parameter which will decide this heart disease okay so what is our task so this is this is heart disease this is our dependent variable this is why okay so this is our dependent variable and this heart disease will depend on all these parameters it will also depend on age what is the age if age is more than 40 then th there is a chance uh, if there is high cholesterol and these are the some parameters if this is uh, high then there is a chance of heart disease okay so these parameter will decide the heart disease okay so we have successfully figured out what is this data set and how we can do how we have to implement how we can make this model so this is our y and this all are x okay these all are x1, x2, x3, x4, x5. These all are independent variable which will collectively define this y. Okay. So something like that we have to figure out the data set before going to code. Okay. So our task is to do a heart failure prediction. We have to predict if a person have heart disease, then we have to predict that there is a chance of heart failure. That is one. One showing that the person having this person is sec third third one okay so second one okay so this second person having heart disease and this zero is showing that the person is not having heart disease okay so we have to predict that person having heart disease if the person having heart disease then we have to predict that yeah person there is a chance of heart failure okay so something like that we have to do okay so so for this i am going to use google colab okay this is also a uh, similar to Jupyter Notebook. Uh, so you can use this Google Collab also. So let's go to here and click this link and just click here on new notebook. Okay. Okay. So it's open and uh, just name this as uh, heart failure prediction. Heart failure prediction. Okay now we have to upload the data set which we are we have downloaded from kaggle so from here just uh, just click on this this is the upload button and just click on this and upload the data set so this is heart.csv data set okay so we have successfully uploaded the data set and what we have to do first so first of all let's uh, comment out here with uh, importing libraries first what we need we have to import libraries so 
right here importing libraries okay libraries okay uh, we have to do it okay so what libraries we need so first libraries is numpy to do all the mathematical cal calculations so we need numpy and second libraries is uh, pandas pandas spd and what is third library for plotting graphs we need matplotlib okay matplotlib.py plot splt okay so this is done let's run this so it's running and now what we need so we need uh, we need one so we have to write here importing data set okay so this is a comment for com we are commenting importing data set and we have to uh, import the data set we have to import this data set in the form here so let's define one variable data set is equal to uh, pd what is pd pd is pandas dot read csv parameter we have to use pd dot read csv we have to use so this is a pd dot read csv is a function and pass here the location of that uh, csv file so this is hard dot csv this is here so you can simply copy the path from here also or simply pass here hard dot csv because this program and this hard dot csv lie in the same directory then no need to define any other things just give the name and extension okay that's fine so what's next we have to define here x and y okay so we have to provide here the value of x and y which I have showed you in this Excel sheet. So these all are the X parameter, A, sex, chest pain, resting BP, cholesterol, these all up to A, A, A to K, all these are X parameter. And this one, our disease, this is Y parameter. This is our dependent variable, which depend on all these parameters. Okay, so it will come in Y. Okay, so first of all, let's give Y. How we can give this y so to give y we have to use the, this data set okay so this is the data set so let's use this data set and we have to use this i lock function and what this i lock will do in this i lock we have to pass the row and column in which y reside okay so y is inside uh, we have to choose all rows okay we have to choose all rows of data set because we we are interested in taking the complete data set okay so up to this okay so we have to choose all the rows so to select all rows we have to simply pass colon in python if you know the concept of list slicing then you have idea that column denotes the complete elements in that list okay and we are interested in last column okay to select the last column we have to choose here and the value as minus one as you know that in the list minus one denote the last element of that list okay so this is this denote that complete row we have to take and this minus one denote that take only last column of that data set okay so this is fine we have to extract the values so we have to give this dot values to extract the values of that row and column okay so this is done so similarly we have to do here also so type here data set dot i lock so pass here colon so we have to take complete row so that's why we are passing here colon but what about this column value so we have to take this first column first second third fourth but in python list start from zeroth index okay so this is zero index first index second index last index as third index so we have to take up to here okay so what we can do here uh, we can just pass column to start it from zero and we have to end here okay before minus one we have to end this is minus one index okay this is minus one index in in python list minus one denote the last last index so this is minus one index and this is minus two okay so we have to come up to here so if we pass here minus one then it will go up to minus two and it will exclude this minus one okay 
so it will exclude this one okay minus one last element so in column after column the element which we have passed it will go from zero to minus one excluding this minus one minus one index okay so it will go from h to st slope but it, it will not take this heart disease okay so that's why we have to pass here this okay and we are interested in taking the values of that row column so we pass here dot values okay so let's execute this this is done okay so let's print x and c yeah so this is the this is the first one is denoting that this is age is 40 and st slope is up okay so it's showing here age is 40 and st slope is up and this is second one this is first first row second row third row so these all are showing here okay in the form of two dimensional list okay so let's print here y let's print y okay so these are the y okay fine so our uh, importing the data set part is done we have successfully imported the data set and now the next part is data pre-processing phase okay this is very important phase why we are going to do here data pre-processing because all machine learning algorithm do a mathematical computation but here as you see some values are in the form of string so this is a problem if we simply pass this data set to the machine learning algorithm for training then the model will give error because machine learning algorithm will not compute will not do anything on string data set okay so we have to convert each and everything in the in the form of numbers numerical form okay so we have to provide each and every values in numerical form so that's why we have to perform data pre-processing to pre-process this string data okay so if you see here in excel file then this male female these are the string data so we have to change it, it in the form of numbers we have to encode this okay and we also have to encode this ata and ap these parameters okay we also have to encode this this value normal st these value we have to encode we also have to encode this no, no and yes, um, these value n and y. We also have to encode this up flat, this, these values, okay. So for this, we have to perform data pre-processing, okay. So let's comment out here with data pre-processing. This is the third phase we have to perform data pre-processing, okay. So this is, uh, we have to do here. Okay, so for data pre-processing, I'm going to use label encoder. We can use here one hot encoding also. If you go on Google and search different, different data pre-processing technique, data pre-processing technique, then you will find out the one technique of um, label encoding also so you can read from here what are the different pre-processing technique okay okay so from here you can uh, if you are interested in theory part then you can read from here what are the different data pre-processing technique okay to pre-process the data one one is label encoding and this is imputer which is used if this this one is used when you have some missing values okay so sometimes there is some blank values where and there is no uh, something missing values so to deal with that missing value you have to use this one this is imputer class of scikit learn you have to use okay so these all are these all are the code for that so as you see here it's uh, it's checking that first column and scanning complete row and it's scanning first column and second column excluding third column it's scanning and transforming everything and what is it's using here it's replacing all nan values all blank values with the mean values okay 
so it's uh, performing something like that okay so it's replacing all the blank value with the mean value in that column okay so these all are also the tricks which uh, you can use if your data set have some blank component which is missing component so to deal with missing component you can use these tricks also okay and uh, i have al already explained how we can use this in my previous projects okay so you can check it out also check it out so you can check that so i have already explained these tricks how we can deal with missing data in my previous projects so you can check that also if you are interested in okay so this is level encoding which we have to use this is level encoding okay so by using this we can convert all this uh, like here spain germany these all country name in in the form of this 0 1 2 okay so something like that we have to use okay so if you are interested in theory part then you can uh, go and search on google and study that also and google search and read the documentation so i'm going to use here uh, level encoding so let's write here from sk learn because i'm going to use here scikit learn so use sk learn dot preprocessing class we have to use here preprocessing class so from sk learn dot what is dot dot is that from sk learn go inside preprocessing class okay so that's why i'm using a dot and from from that class we have to import this this class label encoder okay so from sklearn.preprocessing we have to import this label encoder and let's define here one uh, variable le le is equal to let's take uh, first of all let's find out how many level encoding we have to perform this is first okay so zero one so first index we have to select okay so let's write here one variable as le1 okay le1 denote that it's a first index okay uh, you can choose anything so le1 i am defining here an object for that class so le1 level encoder okay and uh, second one is what 0 1 uh, 2 okay on 2 okay let's write here le2 le2 is equal to le2 is equal to level encoder encoder okay and what is next i think uh, two three zero one two three four five six okay six seven eight six eight nine ten six eight ten we have to use okay so let's write here same one same copy here and change here to ten and this one is for six sorry this one is for eight and this one is for six okay so le1 2 6 8 10 these all are the object defined for each column for sex column for chest pain column for this resting ecg column so all for all this column i have separately defined the level encoding object okay and now let's apply this level encoding on each and every column okay so to apply this first of all select that uh, row so i am interested in scanning on each row because i have to apply on complete row and which column we have to choose so this lie in first index as i have already explained here 0 1 this is first index okay there are 2 3 4 5 6 index okay one index second index and six index so i've already showed you so select here first index okay select here first index and write here le1 dot fit we have to use here fit underscore transform technique okay so right here fit underscore transform and what we have to do so pass here same this one okay so please transform this in the form in the encoded form so that's why i am using this okay so similarly pass here this one use second index of the column and pass here le2 this is this is defined for second one pass here fit underscore transform same things and select here x and write here second okay so similarly you have to do okay so let's copy this and change the value only 
let's paste here to do it fast okay so second one is done and what is this this is sixth this is eight this is ten and we, here we have to change here to ten this is tenth object defined for that tenth column okay and this is eighth one and this is sixth one okay and here also we have to change so let's write here six this is eight this is ten okay so everything is fine so now let's run this okay so we have successfully run this let's print text to see the magic we have encoded or not okay so as you see here after 40 we are getting mail and uh, this ata and here male is changes to one and female is changes to zero and ata is changes to one and this is also changes to an ap changes to two okay it's encoded okay so here everything up flat it's also changes up is changes to two and flat is changes to one so it's encoded in the form of uh, in the number form okay so that's fine so we have done this data pre-processing phase so what's next we have to do so next phase is splitting phase in which we have to split the data set into training set and test set okay so let's perform this splitting phase also splitting data set data set into training training and test set okay splitting the data set into training set and test set why we are doing so because we 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 have we are interested in training and testing our model because we don't have any uh, other uh, data set for testing so we are splitting the same data set into two part in which almost 80 percent which uh, of the data set we are going to use for training purpose and 20 percent be used to evaluate our model to check the accuracy of our model so that's why we need 20 percent of the data okay so so for that we have to split this data set into training set and test set okay so use here the library sk learn from sk learn use model selection model selection from sk learn dot model selection class import train underscore test underscore split train test split from sk learn import train test split and what we have to pass here define one variable x train define another variable which is x test define another variable which is y train because we are uh, interested in splitting x and y both variable so define x train y train x test y test okay so x train x test y train y test x and y both are defined okay and pass here train test split this this class and pass the parameter as first parameter is x this original x and second parameter is y okay so this is y y value okay and uh, what is next we have to define your test size what is our test size so let's define your test size as 0.2 this that is 20 percent of uh, we are interested in test set okay 20 percent of data come under test set and 80 percent rest 80 percent is going in training set okay so that's why i have defined here this one and give your random state equal to zero okay that's fine let's run this and if we print here x train if we print here x train then we will see that the data will be splitted so this is our x train and model is already splitted and if we print here y underscore train then you will see that uh, data is reduced and if i print here y test y test and you will see the data is reduced to 20 percent okay so this is 20 percent of that original y and y train is 80 percent of that original y okay so we have successfully splitted this so first of all we have imported libraries and 
second what we have done here okay so let's increase it so first of all we have imported this libraries second one we have uh, imported the data set and then we have uh, done the data pre-processing where we have pre-processed the data and convert it in numerical form because machine learning algorithm will take only the data in the form of numbers it will not take any string values so that's why we have to encode that data okay so we have successfully done this and then we have splitted the data set into training set and test set because we also have to train that model and after that we are also interested in testing that model so that's why we need the two uh, two set training set and test set so that's why we have done this so up to this everything is fine only one last phase is left which is feature scaling so what is feature scaling why we use feature scaling we are in we use feature scaling because uh, if you see here if you see the data then there is some values which is 70 and they, they there are some values which are one zero two so there is very large variation in the values okay so if you uh, so if i uh, so if i give you a job uh, if i give you the task to plot the graph to plot the graph and mark the values of each and every parameter then it's very difficult to do this because um, if you directly do this then you have a lot of variation because some some values are in between 70 40 60 some are in 100 also and some values are 0 1 2 something like that so there is a very difficulty in plotting graph and if you are going to uh, pass this uh, this data set in in your machine learning algorithm then you then the model will take a lot of computation and a lot of time to do the computation and uh, so it's very time taking and also it's not going to give you a good result okay so that's why we have to perform feature scaling and transform these data set in a definite range so that we can easily plot the graph and we can easily find out the relation between the features between the independent variable and dependent variable so that's why we we have to perform feature scaling so feature scaling i will explain you in the next part okay so because this video is going to be very large and i will explain you how we can use the feature scaling the feature scaling i will do in the next part of the video in which i will do feature scaling and after that, I will perform training of the data set on different machine learning algorithm. I will also test the accuracy of different different machine learning algorithm. And we will also plot the graph of, we will also plot the bar graph of each and every machine learning algorithm. And at last we will compare and find out the best machine learning algorithm, which is giving the highest accuracy, okay, will be our best machine learning algorithm. And after that, we will also do a single prediction in which uh, we randomly choose the parameters and we will try to find out whether the person having heart disease or not. So these all are the workflow of our project. So we will continue this in the next video. Thank you guys. Thanks a lot for watching this video.